Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave, and today I'll be answering the question, should Manchester United sign Harry Kane? Remember to subscribe if you're new and check out SofaScore to see all of Kane's incredible stats. But anyway, let's get this party started. The departure of Cristiano Ronaldo and the arrival of Wout Weghorst really highlighted Eric Ten Hag's need for a natural striker at Manchester United. Despite lacking the goal-scoring talent required to lead the line at Old Trafford, Weghorst's positioning, link play and pressing intensity have massively improved the side. But to take the next step and compete for the Premier League, United need a better goal scorer than Weghorst. Harry Kane, on the other hand, seems to be angling a move away from Tottenham. His contract is expiring in 2024, and he's one of the best centre forwards in the world. But would he make a good signing for Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United? The third all-time top scorer in the Premier League, Harry Kane, is a complete forward. He began his career as almost a pure goal scorer, but over time, Kane's creative play has improved to a point where his creativity is as deadly as his goal scoring. The England international is almost the perfect striker for a possession-based team. What's become Kane's iconic move is dropping off the line into midfield, receiving passes to feet before turning and playing wingers in behind the defence with through balls. But Kane does more from the position than play through balls. He also acts as a simple option for ball progression, receiving the pass, holding off pressure and bringing others into play. Meanwhile, his physical strength and size gives his team an option to go direct with long balls. In the final third, Kane can do everything. He can score goals from range with powerful shots, he can place his finishes into the corners, and he remains calm and composed in almost every situation. What's more is that Kane is a superb aerial threat and is very capable of dispatching crosses. And on top of that, he's very two-footed. Not just able to finish off both feet, but able to create for teammates with his weaker left foot as well. In fact, since his first full season, Harry Kane has overperformed his XG with every part of his body. And he's got equal number of assists with his left left foot as he does with his right in the Premier League. What's more is that Kane is very good from dead balls. We know his penalty record is unbelievable, but he's also excellent at putting set pieces away. In fact, since his Premier League debut, Harry Kane's actually scored more goals from set pieces than he has from penalties. There is no question that Harry Kane is a world-class striker, but would a move to Manchester United make sense? Stylistically, Harry Kane is almost the perfect striker for Eric Ten Hag. The Dutchman is one of a few possession-based coaches managing in the Premier League, whose tactics actually improve with a recognised striker. The likes of Mikel Arteta, Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp all thrive with a false nine. Whilst Ten Hag has used this approach, notably Dusan Tadic, his best Ajax team used Sebastian Elair as a focal point. Kane himself scored a lot of goals in Mauricio Pochettino's high-pressing possession-based Spurs. In fact, three of his four best ever Premier League season in terms of goals per 90 all came under Pochettino. Ten Hag's possession-focused, counter-pressing approach isn't so different from Pochettino, so Kane should fit well in. What's more, his ability to drop off the line and receive passes into feet should give the likes of Lisandro Martinez a great option to progress the play through and help link the midfield to the attack. And with Kane dropping off, space will be vacant for runners. This would suit the likes of Bruno Fernandes and especially Marcus Rashford, who would give Kane through ball targets. Kane's relationship with Human Son is the best in Premier League history, with the duo nearly combining for 50 goals. Kane could strike up a similar partnership with Rashford, who has very similar levels of speed and goal scoring as the South Korean icon. His tendency to drop off deep and drift around the pitch would also help United with their positional rotation, which would help them be more unpredictable an attack. Kane would allow Ten Hag to start with a front four that could rotate in-game, with Rashford's pace able to exploit through the middle with Kane at number 10. So unsurprisingly, Kane would be a great fit and entering the last year of his contract, he should be slightly cheaper, but what are the negatives? At 29, Kane is in his peak years, but he's been plagued with injuries in the past, notably suffering problems with his ankle. This could result in a big drop of performance, as his body breaks down with wear and tear, which begs the question, how long does he have left at the top level. The flip side to this, though, is that Kane hasn't missed a single day through injury since April 2021, nearly two years ago, and since then, Kane is averaging a goal every other game in the Premier League. 
What's more is that with the advancements in sports science, we are seeing strikers with a similar profile to Kane scoring goals and playing at the very top until their mid-30s, with the likes of Karim Benzema, Robert Lewandowski and Zlatan Ibrahimovic all enjoying some of their best goal-scoring seasons after turning 30. And as long as he avoids more ankle injuries, Kane should be part of this list thanks to his professionalism and great work ethic. So, should Manchester United sign Harry Kane? Honestly, there isn't a proven striker on the market that is as suited to Ten Hag's football as Harry Kane. There is no reason why he can't play for at least three or four seasons at the top level, but his arrival would bring pressure to Ten Hag's project. Chasing someone like Victor Osimhen for a similar free would give Ten Hag more time to implement his ideas and build his squad. But key players like Rafael Varane, Casemiro, Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes are all 28 or older. Ten Hag might already have a deadline on his current squad. And bringing in the Premier League ready Harry Kane could be a catalyst for major success. If it were up to me, would I sign Harry Kane or a younger player like Victor Osimhen? If United could keep Harry Kane fit for three to four years, then 100% I'd be spending £75 million at max on Harry Kane. The other options would be signing Victor Osimhen, who's more of a pressing forward, and Mohamed Kudos from Ajax, who could operate as either a box-to-box -box number eight, a number 10, or a false nine. So you're getting two players versus one in Harry Kane. That being said, Harry Kane would fire United to the Premier League title under Eric Ten Hag. But anyway, guys, what do you think? I've been Statman Dave. Get into the comments below. Should Manchester United sign Harry Kane? Check out SofaScore, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?